Are you looking for a cool space and science museum to come to in Mississippi? We're here at the Infinity Center and I want to show you guys around. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products and places and cool museums we find. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So right now I'm on the second story. I'm going to show you guys up here first and then we'll go down there and I'll show you all everything that's down there. But right up here we have, this is the main like space area is up here. As you can see, there's the ground and around. And there's uh, all these different hands-on activities that you can do right here with the kids. Is this cool? Yeah. Yeah? Thanks, Hold on, I'm, let me go show them around real quick. You have uh, um, the spectrum. This was really cool. It gives you a spectrum of light. And there's all these different kind of images that you can take through the spectrum to show how they work in x-rays, gamma rays, visible light, infrared, microwave, and radio waves. Super cool, especially whenever you get a planet because the planets can go through all of these. Uh, I thought that that was really neat. Uh, coming back here, there's a whole section about the Apollo missions. Here's the International Space Station mock-up right here. But back here, they have the Apollo 4 missions with the capsule here. If y'all want to pause the video and read that, y'all can do that to learn a little bit more about that. Space suits. There's a moon rock back here, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a lunar sample. Again, if y'all want to read it, y'all can pause the video. Then you have, uh, I guess this would be like a little model of the Apollo mission capsule to show you everything that, that looks like from the insides. You can see all that. It's really neat. Then they have... Um, Another spacesuit here, another spacesuit here, the hammer and feather on the moon. Is there gravity on the moon? Huh? What's cool is out here they ha actually have the moon lander. This used to be at the Welcome Center from what I understand, but then whenever they built this place they put it right here. And then they also have this piece of a space shuttle back here, which is huge. I never realized like actually how big these things are. Those engines are ginormous and then you have the whole USA thing. And then the whole, this is, uh, I was reading it, the S1C15, which I believe is this stage of the rocket right here, since it says the USA on it, which is what we see out there. So I thought that that was super cool. They give you a ton of history and diagrams and everything that you would want to know about the rockets, about the moon lander, and all that type of stuff. So let me take you guys through some of these other things over here. To go along with the sensors and satellites, they have uh, more of this ultraviolet light, visible light, and infrared light, and you can actually stand in them and see what you look like in them, which I thought was really cool, in the infrared. And then back over here, they. I think this is like some of the parts of the rockets, different gauges and sensors and uh, ignition things. I didn't really go through each one of these and read them because we have three kids. This is some more of the, uh, uh, the electronics that are on the uh, rockets. They just have all these cool like artifacts, like the main combustion chamber. You know, you never would be able to actually touch these things and you can do that here. I thought that that was super cool. Space shuttle tiles. And then they also have the Lunar Module Ascent Engine. I thought that this was pretty cool just because it looks so big and you can actually like see all the different things in there. There's this big giant thing right here, the ISS Destiny Module, which you can go through. It's kind of like the, what the inside of a spacecraft looks like. This is like their sleeping working quarters with the laptop and everything. And then there's uh, all of display right there all the different systems and engine controls and whatnot I'm assuming that's what that is express rack anybody knows what that means storage rack okay I just noticed this DDCU rack to DC to DC converter kit so that's like the electrical stuff right there I'm assuming CIR combustion integration rack I have no clue what any of this means really the FIR fluids integration rack so I guess that's like all the fluids that are in this in this in the uh, uh, shuttle the RWS Robotic Workstation, so it's like all the laptops and a workstation. There's also this. This was really interesting. It's They're working to build a Robonaut, and uh, this is, I guess, some kind of suit or something for it through DARPA, which is kind of interesting. It's like a robot astronaut. And then there's the TCS Lab Thermal Control System. Not too sure what that is, because it just looks like a big blanket right there. But it's just cool how they have like a little walkthrough of what uh, of what the inside of a spaceship looks like. Now coming over here, they have a few other like little artifact type of things here. This is a Space Shuttle Atlas main landing gear tire. It's a Michelin tire, which I thought was kind of interesting. 
I don't see much tread on it too, which is kind of, I mean, it's got like the line tread, but usually, you know, the cars go to the side for water. I thought that that was interesting. And then they had the Space Shuttle Endeavor go nose gear tire. And that's this little guy right here. And you can, it's really cool to kind of uh, compare the size of the front tire to the size of the back tire because there's a huge difference. Y'all can see right here. One, two, three, four, five treads. It takes about two of my hands. And this one over here is literally like one hand right there. So I thought that that was really interesting. We'll go downstairs real quick. I'm doing a dad review. Okay. And then in here they have a, uh, just like a little screen right here with a little movie that tells you a little bit about everything that they have here. Coming downstairs here, let me go show you guys some of these exhibits real quick. First of all, they have this cool elevator that you can take. Me and the kids had a fun time riding that and it's like a see-through elevator so you can see out uh, and look at everything going through there. Let's see, let's go this way. This is the wave machine right here. You basically, based on the frequency of the waves, it goes up and down and then it lets you know if your, uh, the house is gonna flood over here. That was a lot of fun. This is a, um, a deep ocean explorer and it's like a simulation type of thing where you can go in there and see all the animals that are in certain depths, but then you get all the way to the bottom of the floor and you have to try and fix a valve on an oil rig that by using a robot. It's actually kind of fun. Um, then they have a whole uh, flooding table right here where you have to like build, put buildings on certain squares and then it scans it to be able to tell you if your buildings are gonna flood or not. Someone's over there right now, but I'll go back there in just a second. And then there's all these uh, environmental monitoring stations right here as well. And it's just like different areas where you can, they teach you about how they take different readings and whatnot using all these radio snows and keeping an eye on the air quality. I didn't go through each and every one of these because there's so much here, but um, they just have a lot of cool explanations there. There was also this, my daughter was playing around with this one. It's an air quality thing where you uh, can select a different city and then you can change the air quality over time, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you can see how it affects all of the uh, other cities around it. Uh, there's another air monitor. I think these might all be the same. This is air, this is rivers and lakes, and that's rivers and lakes. So they have two of each. So you can, it's, they have some fun interactive things that you can do here. Another environmental mon monitoring thing here with a aerial barometer. Don't even know what it is. <laughs> then over here they have a making waves simulator. I didn't really play with this too much. Oh, it's a jump zone, you gotta jump. Oh, cool. That's really neat. So you can make waves through your jumping. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then it, it, it reads them onto the monitor there. This is the hurricane prediction area and they just kind of teach you all about hurricanes. You know, what kind of supplies you might need for a hurricane. Uh, <laughs> all about prediction, prediction models and storm surges and everything that they have here. And then this right here was really cool. Kids had fun time building like a little, I don't know where they are. It's like a little house thing that you build right here. And then you close this and then you press the button and it simulates a hurricane and you see if your building will actually survive inside uh, the chamber. I thought it was super cool and the kids had a lot of fun doing that. Let's see, coming around, let me go up to the front here. Got to figure out how to get out of this place. <laughs> there is a... Um, there is a 3D movie theater thing over here as well. I don't know if y'all can see that back there. It's like some space and ocean type of stuff. We opted not to do that because I believe it's $4 extra for that. It cost our family a five to give about 50 bucks to get in, but one of the family members is under three, so he was free. He didn't cost anything. Um, down over here on the bottom floor, I don't know if this is like a, an exhibit that is changing ever so often or whatever but back here they have this really cool uh, botanical area they have uh, um but in, over in this area they have a carnivorous plant exhibit which was super cool if you want to learn about that but they just have all these different tanks with all the different types of plants that uh, are in there and they give you some information about them they also have 
Let's see. Uh, this is the carnivorous plant exhibit right here, where you can go in and see all of the different carnivorous plants right here. They have uh, some interesting zombie plants right here, and they have pitcher plants, and then they have uh, these right here we've never heard of called a sundew. And this is some kind of uh, carnivorous plant as well. So it was really cool to see that. Then as you come out over here, there is a whole section right here about the U.S. Navy at the John C. Stennis Space Center. And this is the Navy suit that's out there, which I thought was really interesting because I'd never seen that particular kind of suit before. And then over here, there's like a little boat right there that you can take a model and look at. And there's like a little Lego building station right here. If your kids are getting a little crazy and they need to do some Lego time, they can do that because they have a cool uh, Lego replica of a space shuttle over there, which I thought was really cool. Outside, I showed you guys the moon lander and the space thing. There's a few engines out there. We're not going to go outside right now, but I plan on doing a video out there of each of those because those two are roadside attractions. So if you guys want to see those videos, if I can get to them, I'm going to put them right there on the screen. You guys go click those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Thank you, dads, for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated. And dad out.